but hi guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel my name is daisy and today i am going to be talking about something i really really love and that's a reality show um my friends that know me so well know that i love reality show like I love reality shows a lot. I am a reality show junkie. Love it, love it. Actually, it's good because sometimes I'm just like, oh, what's this? <laughs> but um, this year, I said I'm going to be showing you guys different parts of me as we go. So I'm not going to streamline to only events alone. I'm opening up the the box. Watch. Oh God, what's the name? Love is blind. Season one and season two. I almost reviewed it. If like I said, if I followed the exact way of life, I would have reviewed it before now. But that time has gone to my first one not. Um, but I love Love Is Bind, especially especially the first season. First season had my heart so much. But I watched the second season as well. Have so much to say. If you want me to talk about it, please let me know in the comment section. But the makers of Love Is Blind um, have a new one, a new reality TV, and it is the ultimatum. And it, see, aside from so, one of the things I love is reality TV, like I already mentioned. And another thing I absolutely love is love. Like I love love. And when I have to watch things about love, about relationships, friendships. I'm always excited and this is one show that is about love. So now the ultimatum is literally people who have been together for at least a year and a half. Somebody saying, oh, you have, um, I feel like we've been together for long enough for us to get married. And the other person saying, I'm not ready to get married or something like that. Or giving it whatever excuse that might be. And then it becomes a whole thing where they have to bring themselves on the show. So the person who gave the ultimatum ultimatum brings the person on the show and it's a whole thing now i have i'm still in episode two as of the time i'm recording this but if i accept you guys specifically request for it i'm probably not going to um bring it up again except there's something else i need to talk about but so far but i'm just going to give you guys like the general one of the things that made me see i wrote a lot of notes like guys you might not be able to see it but i wrote let me increase the brightness of this i wrote a lot of notes it's you know it's a lot like it was a lot to unpack and i said because as i was watching i was like no i have to bring this on my channel like who are these people who raised some of you god and i've been seeing snippets of it on twitter i've been tweeting about it i've been seeing snippets of it on, if you see if you're not following me on twitter see that name down there please check it out yeah so with the ultimatum i'm going to be looking at my notepad a lot um because i have so much to write i had to write and at what side all these things was because i felt like i couldn't remember most of them's name for some reason it just didn't stick and you're just tough like i'm just like it can't be so bad the owners of love is blind are the, are the same people who are hosts and owners of this particular show. thing with the show is that it brings so with this ultimatum that people have given themselves so one of them has given the other person and they bring the other on the show they're going to have to separate so they're not going to be a couple for three weeks um they're going to date amongst themselves for a week and a week and then decide on somebody that is going to be that they are interested in enough to marry or at least be in a serious relationship with they're going to have a fake marriage so not, not they're not going to get married but they're going to have a fake marriage that is live together for three weeks and then when they live together for three weeks then they will split up I think we asked from from if I remember correctly, they're going to come back again. The original couple are going to come back again and live together or something like. Going to decide if they are going to be with the person who they originally came with that is proposed, or they are going to either break up or go with some with the new person. So it's it's that kind of thing. So it's really really unusual. Like obviously you can see, um, but I love it. I love the fact that, but it's a messy show. Like let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you now, it is messy very very messy and i'm going to tell you the way, reasons why i say this this show is really really messy first now, things first kobe kobe my favorite character's name and um, babe's name is madeline and madeline see eh, i've never seen anybody who doesn't know what she who doesn't know what she wants and how she wants it in this life like madeline as of right now that i'm talking like i've never seen like i don't understand it what is wrong with you so Kobe is the one who gave the ultimatum and says, okay, I want to get married now. And they've been together for a year and a half. Although, I'm, in my mind, I'm like, they just finished college in maybe like in, in 
two years, but he said he's ready. So Kobe is 25 years old. Madeline is 24. Uh, the thing with them is, so Kobe says is, so Kobe says he's ready to get married, and Madeline says she's not. She she shocked me a lot to be honest. Like they're in their early 20s, mid 20s, and I'm like ah. ah so serious with marriage i don't think that i'm this serious with my life like this and i'm going to be 25 god <laughs> like i said twenty could be 25 it actually seems amazing from where i am in the show right now and he's dishing like words words um sometimes he says some things i'm just like guy give it thank you but um he's yeah he's originally with madeline and madeline is she's not ready she can't wrap her head around the fact that anybody's going to she's going to be with somebody for the rest of her life um later on in the show um in episode one kobe reveals that she, her parents are going through or just went through a divorce so i'm like okay i understand that bit she made a comment that that was crazy to me and she said that the thing more crazy than leaving him or not being with him is getting married to him and i'm like koyemi <laughs> People just they do some kind of things. I don't understand. What? Oh goodness me! But that's that's fine. That's fine. Um, we have April and Jake. They've been together for two years. Um, what's their issue? April wants to get married. April's the girl, obviously. April wants to get married. Jake is not ready. He just finished. He just um he left the military. I think a year and a half or a year or a, a, either a year or a year and a half ago. So he thinks that he still has like a long time to go. He feels like there's still so much to do, and he wants to make more money. He wants to be more established and whatnot. She's like, I don't need your money. Stuff, 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 stuff like that. She's financially stable. He's, Jake is twenty six. Like I said, he just left the military. Um, he's trying to put himself together. He thinks he wants to travel more. He thinks that. And I'm wondering, like, why... I, I'm not married, so I cannot really tell you 100%. But I'm like, why do people feel that when they get married... If there's no kids, I can understand kids. But if there's no kids, I'm trying to understand why people feel like when they get married, they can't travel. But, okay. Yeah, so, there's um, Nate and Lauren. Nate and Lauren have been together for 20 years. Um, Nate is... So, Lauren doesn't want to have kids... And Nate wants to have kids, and that's so he gave the ultimatum, and that's why they are here. Um, it feels like if she's not ready to have kids and she cannot make up her mind on on that, that um, he can't. There's nothing. He can't. He can't. They can't, they can't get married, and he's going to have to break up with her because that's the idea. If you don't commit here, I'm going to break up with you. Lauren is 26, and Nate is 30. Um, Lauren said something that was really funny with regards this kid, this get, having kids issue. She believes in compromise in relationship, but she doesn't believe in sacrifice. And I'm like, that's a thing, man. Like, people actually have time where they feel like they don't. Be, they believe that you can compromise on things, but they don't believe you can sacrifice. I can sacrifice, and I understand that. So Lauren has her mind that she doesn't want to have kids but i came to understand later when she had a conversation with kobe that i mentioned earlier I had a conversation with kobe about how she doesn't think that she's not she's, she does not have like a total no she just feels like nate is not ready to have kids um in the sense whereby it feels like she um, she feels like he works too much he's going to be leaving her to do all the work on kids and everything for someone who has like um who is fighting about get, having kids being left alone to deal with the kids feels like a lot for her and i really really get that and i understand and i respect that so if that is the sacrifice she's probably talking about i get that i i get it i really do get it um i just i just feel like their their idea their ideals or whatever that is is just misplaced <laughs> I feel like they need to they need to get themselves together for that. Next but, we have yeah. Ray and Zay. Ray and Zay have together for two and a half years. Ray just graduated from college and Zay hasn't. Ray is 24, Zay is 25. Ray was the one who gave the ultimatum that she wants to get married. And Zay feels like um is not ready. It feels like he needs to be done with college. It feels like um there are certain things he needs to put himself through that he has not been able to do. So what's the rush? What's the reason? Um they they, are, they still have a, they still have time and she feels like well she's done with college, she's fine and whatnot. And it feels like because it's not he's not done, it can't it's not possible. 
he wants to be done with college how he has like his whole life ahead of him and all. another thing that i've that, that that was realized that i came to realize or that was mentioned was that as much as Ray is the one who gave the ultimatum and whatnot, it's because they was spitting some bars, man. She's really closed off with her feelings. For someone who wants to get married, for someone who wants to show herself, she's really closed off. She doesn't want to talk about things. She doesn't want to express herself. Everybody in this in this show are pretty effed up, man. <laughs> so um, she doesn't want to um, go through like um, an open. She doesn't want to have open conversations and whatnot. The, I remember the um, interviewer was asking her that, oh, so what do you like about Zay? And she goes, um, um, I wish I could have that video. If I find it, I would, I would, I would put it up. And then she says, oh, is that, is that the last question? Can we come back to that question? I'm like, ha! Hey, and you want to marry this guy? And you say you want to marry him? And he said, and he told her, I said, I can't be with some. I can't marry somebody that is not expressive. That can't tell me how I make her feel. And I get that. And I really, really do get that. I understand you hundred percent, and and I agree with him. You can't. Like, why? <laughs> you want to get married. You want to have kids, but you don't want to express yourself and tell me how you feel about me. Make it make sense, girl. Make it make sense. We have Shanique and Randall. <laughs> They've been together for a year and a half. Um, Shanique is. She's ready to get married. Janik is 24. Rando is 26. So Rando just wants to go with the flow. flow. But he said something that was really valid. He says he wants to um, come out of debt. Before he can say he wants to get married. And he, he also feels like she's not ready to get married as well. And uh, that um, she, he feels like if, if, if she's a big spender. That he feels like to her marriage is about the wedding. like the, And she's a, like she wants to just spend up a big wedding. Have that fun and everything. Then we have Alexis and Anta. Alexis and Anta have been together for two years. Um, Alexis wants to get married. Anta just wants to move in together. And she's like, why? What happened? <laughs> you, want to live in, you want to move in together. Go all the whole nine years and not get married. Why? Please, do the right thing, guy. <laughs> do the right thing. So, um... Alexis is 25, um, Anta is 28. When they, when they ask Anta, what, what, that does he have a wild side? He goes, oh, yes, I do have a wild side. What's your wild side? And then he goes, oh, I read sci-fi. Oh, shit. I'm just like, I guess. But the one thing, some things have to act me in the last, in this one episode and half that I've watched, eh, is that number one. Madly is attached to Kobe, who originally is with Kobe, says, oh, she's, a, she's attracted to Randall. And Randall, she says she's attracted to know him, attracted to see him, and blah, 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 shit that she was going on and on and about. And I'm like, you're excited to know somebody else's boyfriend. I don't understand. Like, shall I fool me? Egg by me. But anyway, so she um, she's excited and whatnot, and then they had this din like I said, they're going to get to know each other for a week before everybody now splits and come um, start living with whoever they choose for three weeks and for the um, fake marriage. And she and then they got together and started talking. And for the love of me, I couldn't get why both of them took out time come and bash like bash bash. <laughs> They are partners and uh, their original partners. I'm like, ah, I be here explaining both of you. The brain is explaining you, me. And they were going in at their partners, and I'm like, both of you deserve each other. No, like, not anybody wants to tell me they deserve each other 100%. Ah, 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 match made in heaven. These two create like they deserve each other. Another couple that's same Jack is with April, and Ray is with Zay. Now, Jake said he's not ready to get married. He wants to learn. And then all of a sudden, in the few minutes of talking with Ray, he goes on to say that I know I was better here because I was given an ultimatum, but he thinks for the right person is willing to change that idea of, of not being ready. And I'm like, ah. Hey, who are these people on this show? You see why I said I cannot review it again because I can't understand. Maybe when I'm done with the entire season, I can review it. But you see, after this first episode, of writing because i just i'm just like nah fam. people people are menting like people are menting what people are menting ah ment is wrong with all of them all of them are menting 
and then where it was funny so jake and ray feel like they are so partners or whatever that is and where it was funny was then april comes to sit with them and i'm like auntie you don't know the reason why you are here in the first place kobe was in conversation with alexis it was hilarious and then he, she goes on to say oh she wants a rich man he wants a man to love blah 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 and then the next thing i heard was and then he says in this um that in the, like the interview they do after i can't remember the name they call it and then he goes nah she has to find someone else for that like it can't be me like and i'm like i get you man i get you <laughs> then that was as though that was not even funny that she already did that for someone you're meeting for the first time and you're having a formal conversation with then she goes on then she, then she comes to meet him because where they had a game after the very first day of dating of the, like the round dating they had like a thing where all of them came together and then they were asking each other oh who do you like and everything kobe had a good um um conversation with lauren the one that doesn't want to have kids and april the one who says that she's financially stable the 23 year old girl that says she was she's financially stable i know they had a really good conversation i know that in looking forward to it like i have a feeling that those are two people that you will probably put on like a good place in his list i don't understand why alexis now comes to say i don't know if you were surprised by you when, I, when you heard me say that um i like you blah 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 blah, blah and he was looking at her and he's like oh i'm so sorry but i don't find you attractive and whatnot and then she goes on and she was angry. She says, she's like, hmm. She and then in that interview, she says something like, he said that like he had a choice. And I'm like, he got, he damn got a choice. There are five other, four other ladies for him to choose from, aside from me. So, no, 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 you think that was all? No, no. So she, she confronted him that day and he told her that. And then the next day, she goes on to tell him that oh i did not like how you had treated me yesterday but i wanted you to know that i was attracted to you blah, blah, blah. and he was like oh i already told you that oh i'm so sorry but i don't see you that way i don't i'm not attracted to you in that way and everything she, god she said that's rude that why she talk like that that okay and they said we already had this conversation yesterday like when did we have this conversation i'm like ha see you guys had this conversation yesterday night and she's like no we didn't have a conversation yesterday she was so angry and i'm like why is this auntie angry this auntie is rejection and then one of the things that busted in my head first so all these things yet that yeah i thought it was crazy and mad until she did two major things number one in uh in and uh, in, um when she was going to speak after that to the interviewer she said something along the line of oh his ex and i are the most similar looking amongst every other person i'm like that's your problem that's that's like that's what you think is that that got him attracted because you guys are similar looking and they don't even look alike it's just fact that they are both blondes but they don't look alike i'm going to put their picture do they look alike to you because <laughs> i don't understand this koyemi 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 then number two that busted my head fully was so by the time she was leaving him the second time angrily and she walked up to maddie and then i think funny enough yeah, I think Madly was having was on a date with Hunter, who is her own original bobo. She did not talk about that one. No, Auntie walked up to the to Madly and says, "I see why you have a reservation about Kobe. You are your right to have a reservation about Kobe. Like I see it or something like that." And I'm like, "Kilagbe kilaju, like how can this be? How did we get here? Auntie, you have problem." You have problem but you know what you need to watch this show if you know you if you know you like messy reality tv shows or something similar to that you need to watch it but i need to watch it but i think i was pissed off because i was just angry i was just angry as i was watching it i was just angry i'm like but what happened you don't know them but yeah thank you guys for watching i know it's a long watch so the question I have for you is, would you be watching the show? If you're going to be watching the show, if you're already watching the show, if whatever you think, however you feel by what I've said or what you've watched, you guys should just put it in the comment section. I want to see it all. And yeah, if you want me to talk about Love is Blind, like I said earlier, I'll just make an episode for it. And if not, we move. Whatever you want, you guys want me to um, talk about, see, I wouldn't, I cannot wait for you guys to tell me. And as much as possible, I would bring it to pass for you guys. Yes, because I'm a child of God. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. 
you know our regular stuff is down below it's just or up wherever um leave love and laugh